everybody welcome back so I figured I vlog along as this goes usually some like when things happen like this sometimes I don't film anything so I figured I'll just film everything so it's you know no power pretty much I am a little sunburnt I don't know if you guys can tell I'm a little red but here's the first solar panel here I'm still in the window that I put and this has a light there for later and then a light over here so that one's been charging it's fully charged before they shut off but you can see it's still keeping it at full battery so that's good and over here is the Zender Super Base Pro that one's charged and we have this big solar panel back here behind my greenhouse, which I'll show in a second, since this is kind of a vlog. There's that solar panel, and that is hooked up to this power pack, which is hooked up to the internet. So, you guys won't be seeing these until after everything, so I'll have them up after everything's done. But, that's the solar power, pretty much. So, I'm just going to vlog this along. And you guys will you'll probably see it once the power is on. So I'm just going to do all this beforehand and then do it afterwards. So here's a little solar panel. I guess this is kind of a test of how well my gear can do if there was no power. So that's the Dakota Lithium panel that was sent about a year ago to me now. There's the big solar panel. And I have two of the Dakota Lithium power packs, which I could show some other time. Because these will be daily videos. So, alright. So like I said, this is going to be a vlog of what I do every day pretty much. But here is a Carolina Reaper. And I sprouted two more right there. So that's cool. I grew that in this aero garden. Which is here. There's no electric for this now, so I'm going to have to more than likely plant these in pots because if there's no aeration in here from no power um they might they might die so i'll probably plant these which is fine they're just herbs and you can see the basil's huge the savory i put in weeks after these and there's the parsley it's decent here's a bunch of pumpkin seeds i planted some onions that's cilantro back in there but here was the first tray I did in a seed video, which would have been a while ago after I put this video up. But there's the Cherokee purple tomatoes in this row. The Everglade tomatoes. Here's some cherry tomatoes. Um, watermelon aren't up yet. Cucumbers up. And these three are zucchini. And here's some more I started. Back here's all the lettuce. I gotta thin it out. There's way too much lettuce. I really have to thin it. There's some moonflowers in there. And here is some uh, cilantro I spaced out. And in here, here's some transplant extra Cherokee tomatoes. And these are marigolds that have come up. So you can see my uh, lobster face a little bit more now. But this is the first day. Let me, because you guys will see these afterwards. Okay, this is April 13th. So I don't know when you guys will see this, but we had quite a bit of rain outside you can see it's completely under and through the driveway here it's just full of water the ducks go under that table though but over there you guys can see i didn't film that yet that's the new garden bed that i put in i put down some rows and weighted them down with rocks so the grass can die off and i'll cut holes in the tarp whenever it's time but I don't know what we're going to do now. I'll probably uh, end up riding my bike somewhere. Because I won't be able to recharge the bike. And uh, it does have a removable battery inside. But every time I open it and take the battery somewhere to charge, it messes up. So I probably won't be able to recharge anything. So I just kind of want to use the battery up before it drains out. Because it drains decently well. So I might do that. Well, time to clean the truck out. There's a lot of fish and stuff in here, and I'm trying to fit my bike in here, and it just ain't working. So, there's all the stuff. I need to move a lot of it. 
Okay guys, so I just got the truck cleaned out and I went and see my dad and now I'm heading back home. Mom wanted to fry fish tonight and they're fish that I got yesterday. So I'm gonna go ahead and get one of my wood stoves out, go get some wood. So we'll be able to fry the fish because obviously having a hot pan of oil on open flames is not good. So I figured that way, you know, the pan will be nice and hot, but at the same time, there's not gonna be a fire. Okay guys, we're back home to the 11 year old chickens. And, oh, she just crapped, that's cool. They're just munching. They're happy it's finally sort of spring. At least it's not freezing right now. Okay guys, you can see how dark my room is. <clears throat> I just come in here and grab my handsaw. You guys can see how messy my room is right now. But, here's my saw. We're gonna go ahead and take this out and get some wood. Okay guys, so here's my saw. I'm gonna start on that tree over there. A bunch of dead pieces on it. I forgot to bring my little tripod or my head mount, so I'm just gonna have to keep filming, but I'm gonna get to cutting. We gotta get some wood. Have to really uh, watch for ticks this time of year. But, we need some wood. I like this one. That's pretty good. I don't like getting real big logs for these wood stoves. I don't know why. It just takes a lot longer. I guess that's my answer why, huh? So, I got some small tinder there. Pretty much, I'm gonna chop this end off. Hands are all callous -y. I'm gonna chop this off where it's wet, throw it in the woods, and then cut the rest of this log up. Hey guys, there's the first log. That should be a decent amount. I have some split wood that is back at my campfire pit that I'm gonna take, but just in case for today, I'm gonna cut another one. We don't have a chainsaw or anything, so that's why I gotta hand cut everything, but mom's gotta cook um, stew meat, and then the fish needs fried. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, use the cast iron pans on my wood stove, my big wood stove. So we'll see if that works. Okay guys, so I think that's enough with this handsaw for now. Um, there's the wood. Don't look like a lot, but for that stove, that's decent. And this is some nice wood, so I'm gonna pick up those other little logs and then grab the wood stove and then take it up to the house. Here's the old trapping shed. Got a Grab the old wood stove. I'm gonna be using that smelter this year, so I have it stored up high there. But, uh, yep, that's the wood stove right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab it and get it up there. Okay guys, so here is the wood stove. You guys have seen this in older hot tent videos. I got that out. I gotta put the pipe on, not all the way, just a couple of them. Here's the wood stack. That's plenty for cooking for now. If we need any more, I'll get some. And then here's a bunch of tinder, which this, you could run it just off of this stuff. This one's kind of a beast, so it, it does eat a lot of fuel. My other one though, you could run it off of that stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the pipe out, set it up. Okay guys, so there's that. There is the wood stove set up. This thing's pretty stable. It only yeah, there's obviously no wood in it either, but it's only wobbling because the legs a little uneven But even with one this is not falling over two of the pipes are still there. So I Keep them nice and clean whenever I'm done that rush just happens is what happens to them. So I'm just waiting for mom to say one and then I'll uh, start this thing up Hey guys, so I got it real nice and hot. The metal was warping on it, and now the stew meat is on there. So let's see if I can keep this going. 
Okay. So mom's making curry. So this will cook in no time. This stove is super hot. All right, so the TV's running. Okay, guys, so the super base is working pretty good, but back out to my wood stove. A little windy. See the pipe shaking. I don't think it's going to tip, though. But There's that. So we're going to let that simmer. We were able to shrink his world quickly. There was nowhere left for him to run. Okay guys, so it's starting to get a little dark, but I'm gonna grab these solar solar lights out of the yard. It's a cat. But we're gonna hook up this power pack again to an instant pot. So this is where we're gonna cook the rice. Okay guys, I'm back here now. It's getting real dark out there. I can't really see anything. So I'm on my bed, but just waiting for the curry to be done. It's pretty much done. Like the wood stove cooked it cooked it pretty good. So there's still some daylight. But that'll be gone soon. And uh my space heater, obviously I can't turn that on. So it's probably gonna get pretty cold. And depending on how long this goes, um we're supposed to get snow within the next like week. So that would be pretty cold. So let's hope that don't happen. Can't believe how dark it is inside compared to outside. But there that is. So wood stuff did well. Ducks around the port potty over there. I don't know if you guys can see them. And right in the center of the frame to the left of it. I got to put them in earlier than normal so I can see. Okay hey guys, before it gets real dark, it's super dark in the house now. Um, I threw a pepperoni bowl on the wood stove. So, it's getting dark, I'm gonna go put the ducks in. Okay guys, so, got the ducks in, and they're in this corner, you can't see them. But, uh, there's the food and water, and they're in the corner, so I'm gonna go and tuck them in. Well, here's the last of uh, daylight. When it gets real dark, I start seeing things, so hopefully I don't see things. But, yep, there is the coop. And I'm going to head in. I'm going to wash my hands in here real quick, and I'm going to go inside. Okay, so luckily, all i got to do is for our water, put that in. Make sure that was off. All I gotta do is uh, let this fill up. That's the water there, so I just gonna let that fill up. Hey guys, I successfully did the eggs. I'm gonna add some salt, a little bit of pepper. Sucks I picked the only two that are like completely died on the inside this water right here I just rinse them off all right here's the pepperoni roll I want to see how this is and yeah, I guess it toasted a little bit and here's the curry Well, that's the end of that video. So, I'm outside right now. You can't really see. There's the moon. But, um, I fell asleep a little bit, so. But, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video. So, that's it for the first one. I don't know. Just figured I'd film them. I don't see why not. So, alright. I'll see you guys in the next one. So, before the video ends, I want to jump in. And first of all, I want to say, I said it throughout the video, but this is in the past. It's already happened. Um... I ended up not filming every day. I only filmed, like, this is the first day, obviously. And then I filmed, I believe I filmed a full second day. And then there were a couple days I kind of jumped in and out. But I didn't film every day. So, um, 
it's not going to be a huge series. Uh, there's probably going to be like another episode of this, but yeah, um, it was a lot. And as you guys seen, I had a lot of power packs set up. I had smaller power packs that I've had from the past, but without the Zender Super Base Pro, that was the big one that I've used, and I've used that in past videos. Um, I used it to air fry Oreos in the back of my truck. I don't know if you guys seen that video, but um, without that, I mean, obviously. We didn't need the TV on, but you've seen it can run our old flat screen TV. That's when they come out, okay? That's literally like when flat screens come out, that's what that is. It weighs like 300 pounds. And um, it ran that. We ran lights. Um, we ran the refrigerator, which I haven't shown yet. Um, I charged all kinds of things. And pretty much if you charge like a, a phone or a camera, it, it doesn't even... It doesn't do anything to the power of the power pack. And the only reason I'm saying this is because they have sponsored this video once again. And I really do appreciate it. But I can't stress enough, like, this actually has helped a lot. I've used it even when there was power. I, I'd use it in the trapping shed. Or if I didn't want to use an extension cord, I'd just plug something into it. So it holds 2,096 watts, I believe. And um, that's more than enough. I just filmed another video with the power pack. And I had a box fan and an air fryer in the back of my truck again. So, um, I want to thank them for sponsoring this video. Um, and like I said, guys, this was in the past. Okay, this is already gone. Okay, so I think it's just cool that I can post it now, a couple weeks after it happened, and I can kind of watch it after. So, but for the Zender Super Base Pro, the link is down below if you guys want to buy that. I mean, it is a little bit pricey, but uh, I mean, you get what you pay for. So. You know, there there are smaller power packs out on the market, but like I said, the Super Base Pro is literally the only one I have that can run pretty much anything you can plug into it. Um, you know, I, I say that with, you know, I you could probably find something that takes an extreme amount of power, but I plugged in a burner into the power pack. It ran it. it I mean, it would have took, it would have ran one of those, like, coils the big countertop coils to cook on it said it would have ran it for two and a half hours which i think it was i can't remember how much it was pulling but it was pulling a lot because on the power pack you can actually see how much is being pulled out of it which is pretty cool but i won't go on and on i mean i showed it in here and you guys seen it once again and actually the second day and the third day i did it's in all of them but um as far as the solar power i know in like these videos it was just clips of a day because it was a full day, you know, and I only did certain clips. But the solar panels, I have a 100 watt panel outside. Well, I did have one. It's back on the trapping shed now because that's what I use down there. But um, there were some days where the sun would come out. And if the sun was right on it, it actually would do like 96 watts. And it was cool because as soon as a cloud would go over, you'd start to see the, the watts on the solar panel. Because you can see the input on the, the Super Base Pro from how much is coming in from the solar panel. And um, I seen it, it slowly would dim down. So I kind of used the panel to keep a charge. Um, it, it would take, you know, quite a few hours in full sun to get the Super Base charged up if you only had one panel like that. If you had a bunch of panels, it would do it in a flash. But what we did was, um, Dad had his. Uh, gas generator and we would plug into that and whenever he ran that i'd charge it up so it only, it only take like two hours to charge that up so yeah i don't want to go on and on and on and on but i want to thank zender for sponsoring this video again and the link is down below but yeah once again this is in the past i just wanted to put it up for you guys to see i think i said in this video it was like april 13th or something it was like five days before my birthday um and that that was even my birthday was a while ago so yeah, it's been a bit. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.